cut the trapezius from its attachments to the spinous processes and from either side of the skull and spine of the scapula. Reflect it laterally on its neurovascular pedicle. Trace the accessory nerve which innervates it back to the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid. From the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid, identify the lesser occipital nerve. Trace it superiorly along the surface of this muscle. Try to preserve the other cutaneous nerves that emerge from the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid at about its midpoint. On either side, identify the major and minor rhomboid muscles and the thin white fibers of the underlying serratus posterior superior. Cut these muscles from their attachments to the spinous processes and reflect them laterally to reveal these underlying muscles. The longissimus cervicis, the longissimus capitis, the splenius cervicis and splenius capitis muscles. The cervical part of the splenius muscle attaches to the transverse processes, the capitis to the skull. Also identify the superior fibers of the semispinalis capitis muscle which attach to the middle of the occipital bone. If possible, re-identify the greater occipital and the lesser occipital nerves.